I am doing my PhD in ACTEC, Tata Hospital. It's a cancer-based research we do. So in, while treating a tumor patient or cancer patient, they have the solid tumor, which you remove the tumor by surgery. Now after surgery, the, it is very difficult for the surgeon to understand have they removed the surgery properly or not. In other words, have they got a clear margin or not. Now to, as it is not properly understood, no one wants to take a chance. So daily they are given radiation therapy and sometimes chemotherapy also. Now in both the cases, the aim of this therapy is to kill any leftover tumor cells or not. Now what happens, in spite of giving radiation therapy, now patients relapse. In other words, the tumor comes back so in the same site or in different places. So as the tumor comes back, that means some of the tumor cells were able to escape the radiation. And what we assume, those cells to be radio resistant. And so basically we are trying to understand that. Now what happens when you give radiation to a cell, the radiation and high energy beams you give, it breaks the DNA. Now generally what happens when you take a stick and break it, the break is not even, it is uneven and it is very difficult for the cells or for the stick to join if it is uneven. Now same thing happens in the DNA. Now cells are sometimes not able to join that DNA, as a result the cells are not able to replicate or else it cannot form one cell to two daughter cells. So in the process the cell dies which is known as apoptosis. Now cancer cells tend to divide more and die more of the radiation effect. Now some of the cancer cells are not able to do so. Now to understand why radio resistance is happening and eventually find a cure to the radio resistance, we developed the radio resistance cell lines. Now I am working on breast cancer. So I developed the breast cancer radio resistance cell lines. So how you developed it? We have taken the cells in petri plate, in vitro cultures. Now in patients you give two great dose of radiation and eventually the patients the radiation gives over. So here also we give two great radiations. Now eventually we give small doses of radiation every day and eventually the cells get adapted to the radiation and become radio resistant. Now when the cells become radio resistant, those cells are different from the cells which are not radio resistant or to which they are not exposed to radiation. Okay, now we have two one cell line in which we have radio radio resistance and one cell line where it is not radio resistance. Now we compare two cell lines and see as the cells have become radio resistant, what are the different properties it has become, what changes it has come to. Now so we first thing what we saw is that radiation kills the cell by damaging the DNA, by breaking the DNA. So what we see that when we give them again radiation, both the cells, what happens to the DNA? And what we found that radio resistant cells that we have, the DNA is not getting break, broken properly. The breakage is very minimal compared to the cells which are not radio resistant. And what we find that there are different proteins, different machinery which repairs the DNA. And this machinery is much more efficient in the radio resistant cells. And another interesting thing we found with that, what is the a very difficult or very worst situation a patient can pass to when they are going for cancer is that they have metastasis. That is, if the tumor is formed in one place, and it moves to different organs and it's very difficult to detect those and the radio resistant cells are more migrate or more metastasis if that means if it is grown in one part of the organ it can go to different parts so we have seen different experiments that it is able to go so right now i am trying to focus on a particular protein which is which i have seen that it can lead to radio resistance and drug for that protein is available in the market so if we can find out, use that drug to kill the radio resistant cells, then it can be used with radiation to kill the radio resistant cells. See, when you, I am not a scientist yet, I am in doing my PhD. So the thing is that the, your definition of fun changes, your definition of enjoyment changes. Okay, and you will find that it is quite different. Your things will much more be by curiosity and when something you think that it is going to happen, when you do an experiment and that experiment results come as a research, when an experiment results come, which often which doesn't happen all the time, but that time it's very enjoyable. That yes, it has come. And you, are, you can actually see that whatever you are doing is going to impact eventually everyone.
not in the very five years, 10 years, but down the line, yes, it is going to affect. And when people will be seeing that, yes, your work is actually getting affected, it's the really the greatest part of being a researcher. But frankly speaking, it takes time. It, it's not so cakewalk, is it?